<laughs> what is going on guys it's your boy dpj here today with another destiny video and in today's destiny video i'm going to attempt to solo this week's weekly nightfall and it is fogarth that fat motherfucker and we have solar burn we have void burn and we also have juggler let's just get straight into this bad boy and i've got my coffee in my sexy red and white cup i have my juice and i have my protein shake <clears throat> now you know this this t-shirt's bad boy. You know that t-shirt's badass. Look at that. Look Something at that. I'll show you guys my class setup I am using. Uh, let me show you guys this Nepal shader uh, with this armor. It looks so damn good. Look at that. If it will load, it probably ain't gonna load. Well, we went for that load. I'll show you guys my class. Oh, I got blue in there. Uh, must have been from a strike from yesterday. Okay, so we've got the Vision of Confidence as my primary. I've got the FD Spear as my special. And I've got the Galley, 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 Galahorn. Now, this is gonna be basically our last chance of using the Galahorn because the patch drops later today. Now, if you're watching, you're probably watching this since too late, but the patch drops at 6 p.m. UK time, um, which is a, about well, this was your idea. So about eight hours after the reset time. So we've got until 6 p.m., which is about four hours from now until the, to do the nightfalls this week. Because once that patch drops, we ain't gonna be able to do the nightfall until the Taken King comes out. And the patch drops later today, the 2.0 patch, and that is when the Galahorn gets that nerf. And it's the end of the Galahorn. It's the end of the. Well, I say legendary, the exotic motherfucking Galahorn. Now, but look how sexy that looks in that Nepal shader. It looks absolutely badass. I'm going to switch this back up. Uh, what did we have on here? Now, I forgot. Was it. I think it was that. Equally all out, maybe, was it? I'm not even sure. Uh, but yeah, fuck it, we'll keep it like that. Don't really matter, to be honest. But yeah, the patch drops later today. Excuse me. And I cannot wait for it. To be honest, what I am most looking forward to is PvP. I just cannot wait to play PvP where it isn't overrun with thorns. I just cannot wait. And I'm also curious to see what they're going to do with the blink as well. It's going to be absolutely epic. As well as seeing all the new exotics, uh, the blueprints, the updates of that. That's going to be so bad. I can't wait to see some of them weapons because we actually don't know. A lot of the weapons are getting updated, so I just cannot wait for that. I really can't. Is that bitch? Come here, come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. 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 So I haven't really played much of Destiny, to be honest. I mean, like I've, I'm prepared for the Taken King. Uh, there's a little bit of confusion over there with the weekly update, and the uh, thing where it stayed incomplete banters will be wiped. Yeah, got a lot of people, including me, a little confused. I mean, I had banters saved up. To use when the Taken King drops, so I can level up that gear quickly. But at the end of the day, I mean, I want to grind, I want to level it up properly. I ain't really bothered about getting to level 40 as soon as possible. I mean, yeah, it, it just uh, that does mean nothing to me. It, doesn't mean, it ain't gonna take long to level up to level 40 anyway. That's just where the game starts. Then it's about getting that gear, leveling up that gear, getting that light on that gear and shit. That's what it's all about. Getting to level 40 is just the start. Just like when a game first came out, getting to level 20 was the start. Um, I don't have to actually be defensive here because it isn't a respawn restricted area. So I can just fuck about. If I die, I die, I don't really matter. And I'm gonna have to use my. Um, because Juggler's on here, I'm gonna need primary ammo. And because Juggler's on, getting kills with primary ammo will not make uh, primary ammo drop. But yeah, guys, what are you most looking forward to about the Taken King? Uh, the DLC. I mean, obviously I'm looking forward to a whole new grind. It's in after playing the first couple of story missions, when I went to Seattle to the Bungie headquarters, it was so good. It was so good. That first story, that cinematic which you guys haven't seen yet, is absolutely amazing. It goes on for like fucking six minutes. It's, it's so good. I mean, the story, everything is amazing. I can't wait. I'm gonna actually probably gonna delete my Titan and create a new Titan to run through the whole thing again. And if you guys want to see me record that live, I will do it live. I mean, I ain't bothered. I will record that whole motherfucking thing live. Because I do want to run through it all anyway. I just want to hear the, that sexy new Nolan Norse voice as that little light. I'm a bit defensive here. I'm not running in here because these motherfuckers will fuck you up. Oh, look at all that. Whoa, shit, this game. 
heavy ammo for days. I'm just gonna use a lot of this heavy then. And um, the knights and shit, why the fuck not? How many crates there are there, man? And it's just dropping. Have I got something on that gives me heavy ammo? Have I? Have I? No? No? Oh, no, fuck knows. Fuck knows! Okay, let's just get rid of these fucking. Let's get rid of these motherfucking knights. Come on, bitches. Whoa, whoa, that could have gone so bad then, that could have killed me. You ain't going nowhere, boy. You ain't going no more fucking way, boy. Come on, put your fucking head out. You know what, you don't even need, I don't even need to waste a galley on you. Oops, I just picked another one up. Bastard, I want to save that. Come down, motherfuckers, come down, motherfuckers! Got myself res on. So I've got one life. <laughs> I've got one life. I don't know, you know what, to think about Nightfall as well. Um, like, not being, like, if you die, you got to get sent straight back to orbit. I think that adds to the challenge of a Nightfall. I mean, like, it's just going to be like a weekly hello. If you die now, you'll just go to the start of that checkpoint, I believe. I don't know if I like that, to be honest. I really don't. And like I said, I think I might have said it earlier, I'm not sure. Once the patch drops later today in about four hours' time, I don't think we'll be able to run the Nightfall until the Taken King comes out. So we've only got a few hours um, left for, to, well, you, by the time you guys see this video. Um, no point in me even telling you, it's irrelevant now. But yeah. <laughs> Me running this now, there's only a few hours left to run the Nightfall. So, yep. Hopefully you guys know. I've put out a few tweets. Um, I'm sure you guys know. I'm sure you guys know. Plenty of people have tweeted about it. More cancelled that all. Loads of people! Here we go. Come on, motherfuckers. Who's left? Who's left? This Volgoth is going to be such a bitch. Oh god, is gonna be such a bitch with that fucking void. Damn. Um, luckily I'm gonna sit outside the room and not go in. Switch to my iceberg and just grilling. <laughs> Come on, motherfuckers. Come on, motherfuckers. Where are all these bitches hiding? I mean, like, I know. And like, like, I mean, a lot of my subs come from Call of Duty. I mean, I had like 350 subs, 350k subs before I started posting Destiny, and a lot of them guys are begging me to make more emblems and shit. I don't want to pick up the heavy, but I want the fucking finger, the primary. Yeah, a lot of my subs were begging me to make more emblems for Black Ops. So, big Call of Duty fans. Uh, I actually, I'm not going to lie, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys will know. I actually really enjoyed the Black Ops beta. I mean, Call of Duty as of late for me has been absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. I mean, I hated Advanced Warfare with a fucking passion. I mean, I hated Modern Warfare 3. I hated Ghosts. I wasn't too keen on Black Ops 2. I mean, I played it because the survival of my channel depended on it, basically. But I hated it. I didn't really like the game, to be honest. The beta from Black Ops 3, I really, really enjoyed. I mean, does it mean I'm gonna post? My channel is Destiny only now. I don't plan on posting Black Ops 3 videos at all whatsoever. Destiny is my main game now, but it's good to have a game like Black Ops to go over to when you've done everything in that week for Destiny. I mean, there's a lot of things coming and a lot of things you will have to do weekly now in Destiny. So most of my time will be on Destiny every week, but still a nice change. If Black Ops 3 is promising when it comes out on November 6th, I think it is, like the beta was, I'm pumped for it, I'm excited. When the beta ended, I'm not even lying to you guys. I mean, I really missed it. I missed it. I missed the beta. I absolutely missed the beta. What a fucking night wants to come down. I don't want to go up, waste my surface if the fuck kills me. Bitch, fuck you up. Fuck you, wouldn't you? Look at all that heavy. Oh shit! Oh, so glad it ain't Ark. 
Oh, it's so glad it ain't Ark, because I would have got ruined then. Woo! Gally, gally! Gally, gally! See, this is what I mean about the Galahorn being overpowered. <laughs> Look at that! One shot! One shot! It's just ridiculous. Okay, doors are opening now. Gate's opening. I mean, like, as much as I am going to miss the Galahorn and ruining everything in PvE with it, it does need a patch. It does need that nerf. It really does. I mean, it's just... I mean, a lot of people are bitching about it. I mean, which I can understand, to be honest. I can understand people don't like the idea of it being patched. Just nothing more fucking worse than cold coffin. I mean, um, please, no one screenshot that then. And make a, a meme out of it. Get all the heavy. Yeah, um, what was I going to say now? The Galahorn. I personally want to move on. A lot of people want to move on, but a lot of people don't want to move on. A lot of people want to take it into the, take, uh, the Taken King and ruin shit with it. I mean, that's boring, man. That's boring. It's going to be the same old, same old, same old, same old. I mean, if they... just, they're just The DLC was just consist of them adding more enemies for you to destroy with the Galahorn. That'd be boring. People get bored of it so quick. Um, but that's pointless, in my opinion. Doing what they're doing and nerfing this bad boy is the right idea for me. I believe it's the right idea. Did I just destroy him then? Did I just destroy that ogre then? Fuck I did. Wow, that was quick. But yeah, a nerf to the Galahorn or the Jalahorn or the motherfucking whatever the fuck you horny horn, whatever. It is needed. It, it truly was needed. Okay, so we're coming up to Fogarth in a second. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to kill, man. Like I said, with that void, he shoots out. It's gonna wreck faces. We are PvP. I absolutely loved PvP back in the Suros regime days. For the Suros regime days, I absolutely loved it. And um, I just can't. I can't take it now of how powerful the fawn is. I mean, to be honest, I don't think the fawn is going to be as bad as people are making out it will be once it gets patched. It ain't going to be that bad. It's just going to be slightly worse. But at the end of the day, I think so many other weapons may be on par or a few will be better, which means people will branch out and use other weapons, which is fine by me. I mean, the messenger is super OP. Two bursts, you, you're done for. Uh, Hopscotch Pilgrim, full stability. Oh shit, you're coming out of there. Max stability, reactive reload, two bursts to the body absolutely destroys. I mean, it wouldn't bother me. That wouldn't bother me. What bothers me about the fawn, oh shit, is that it's the, the ticks on the shit. They can get shot twice a bit and you're done for. You, they can run away across map. They can shoot you twice, they run away and you die. That annoys the fuck out of me. It's just, it's just relentless. It, it just, it's just relentless. It's just relentless. I don't even know why I'm fighting these guys to be honest. I could just run past them. Which I think I'm gonna do. Don't need to fight these bitches. Jump over your ass, my brother. Yeah, the corn is what ruins PvP for me at the minute. I mean, I hate blinking shotgunners as well. Because if someone blinks at you, there's not much you can do. You're just done. You're just done. I mean, if they if they if they land in your face with a shotgun, you can't do anything. Blink 100% needs a needs a a nerf also. Yeah, I knew that's gonna happen. His enemies are gonna get in a fucking way. I'm trying to shoot this motherfucker. This fucking streak is gonna spawn here as well. All right, mate. Woo, girly, girly. Oh shit! Look at the hell this motherfucker took off me. He's one pack and see what this does. It, it probably will destroy him. Let's see. But yeah, Fawn ruins PvP for me. Last word I can deal with. I mean, it doesn't annoy me as much as the, uh, the Fawn. But I've got a funny feeling a lot of people will be switching to that. I just want to see what everybody goes to. Oh shit, no Xbox, what are you doing? 
I didn't press anything like that, you fucking piece of shit. Wow, Xbox annoys me. If I was like, imagine if I went a war like I didn't have a self res imagine what would have happened then. I would have died. I would have been so fucking mad. I'd have picked up my connect and headbutted it. I'm not even joking. I'm not even fucking joking. You wanna fuck off, knight? Oh my days, just fucking blocking up everything. Can I hit him then? I think I may have hit him then. Let's just switch to my FOD spear. Fucking shooting where you can. Whoop! Don't wanna get in the way of that fucking void blast shit. Yeah, fuck you up. Now what do we even want from this nightfall? I don't even think there's anything I, I really want. Um, what do I do with? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm just using, it's the last chance I've got to use my Galahorn where it's so old peak. Woo, look at that damage. <laughs> so easy, it's just stupid. Oh shit, they ain't the war then. That's bullshit. Yeah, well, I'm done. Absolutely done. Simple as that, but yeah. Bye bye, Galahorn. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Gally. Well, at least it's chained up. <clears throat> if it gives me another Galahorn, imagine that. The abomination has been destroyed. You didn't even see what I got. We'll be grateful. You didn't even see what I got. A creature of the dark has been I mean, I've got a Galahorn I brought from there. I've only got two galleys, and I, I didn't even really bother leveling it up. I mean, I got. I was using it on Dragon Strikes. That's about it. It's getting a little bit of XP for it, but. The last you're gonna see of the Galahorn. Oh dear, it's a shame, it's a shame. What did I get? What did I get? Give take equation. What a load of shit. <laughs> just my luck though, just my luck. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, do drop a like on it. I appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Also, let me know if you do want to see me run through the story from start to finish um, on a new character, because I'll, I'll do it for you guys. Just let me know. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace.